thoroughly unprepared, we take the step into the afternoon of life. Worse still, we take this step with the false presupposition that our truths and our ideals will serve us as hitherto. But we cannot live the afternoon of life according to the program of life's morning. For what was great in the morning will be little at evening. And what in the morning was true, at evening will have become a lie. The word I is probably the most frequently used word in the language. I am angry. I am American. I am this. I am that. That I is the greatest delusion. So if I'm not something, am I nothing? Yes, I would pronounce that differently, though. I would say, you are no thing. Now, there's a difference between no thing and nothing. Nothing is simply a denial. But no thing means there is a presence there, but it has no form. You came from a source. We can call it God. We can call it Tao. It doesn't matter what we call it. And that this source is everywhere. There's no place that it is not. It must be because it creates everything. Everything comes from this source. Then it must be in me. If there's no place that it's not, it must be in me. And if it must be in me, it must also be in whatever it is that I feel to be missing from my life. If you know that, then in some way, everything that's missing from your life that you would like to have, you're already connected to it in spirit. And all you have to do is figure out a way to align yourself with that and have a knowing that you're already connected to it. You just have to bring it on its way. And the That's way that you intense. think and process. What was that out loud? Yeah, you just said that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. It's it is going. intense. Okay. <laughs> There's no question about it. It's okay. very intense. The desire, the submission, the release of the ego, the understanding that you are just a small part of something much bigger. And once you begin to adapt your body, your mind, to these things, this external stimuli, all these things, and understanding that we all are part of something, that a continuation of something, and you reach that balance, then you feel happiness that you would probably never feel from drugs, from anything else. You just surrender. I call it a future pull. And it's pulling. It's pulling you in the direction of whatever it is that you are supposed to be. And to me, it's not too great a stretch to say if everything you needed for the physical journey was already handled in there, then why not everything for the rest of the journey as well? All of your purpose, it's in there. All of what you, your personality, it's in there. Everything that you were to be, not just the physical you, but everything, if you just let go and allow. Religion is now evolving, where we're becoming aware that all of us have the capacity to be God conscious or to be love conscious. The messages of the morning are about what you can and can't do about how society defines you. But in the afternoon, after the shift, it's about connecting to an energy that's taking care of everything. And we're all just being done. Try to stop yourself from breathing, from your fingernails growing. Living the virtues is all we need to do. The truth is, I feel something else is in charge of all of us. So it's really about surrendering to it. Surrendering to something that is bigger than you, that you are connected to, and that's really in control of everything.